Hello, and welcome to Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. I've seen a lot of people playing this game, and um, I hadn't played it yet. There's actually a lot of um, episode, episodes of um, Fears to Fathom, and I haven't checked out any of them yet. So, But it is spooky month, spooktober. So um, I am going to um, probably play through all of them. We'll see. But let's go ahead and get started with this one. Where do I... Where do I go? Uh, episodes? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, this is the only one we got. So let's go. Oh, it sent, it sent me to the Steam page. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Fears to Fathom episode five, Woodbury Getaway. You don't have to play them in order is what I've been told though. Be some brave. Wow, look, it's it's Cosmo's PC. Needed coffee to get done with the day. I don't need that. Space to get up. Oh, I hate offices like this. Okay. Where's the coffee machine? I'm going towards the light. Okay. What are these? Some Doritos? It's easy to give up. Think about it. Oh. Huh. Need to prepare a cup of coffee. Yes. Where are the. Where are the. Uh... There we go. You need water. Need need an empty cup to fill water. Where is the? That does not sound like this cup should be glass. But okay. Great. Give me my give me my cup of Joe. I thought I heard something. Hmm. You need to put a you need to put a on a lid. We don't have to be safe around here. Just grab your coffee. Right mouth button to sip. I don't drink coffee. Need it to use restroom. Should I put my coffee down first? Damn. Door tried to attack me. Uh, I guess in the game, I'm a man still. You were done with it. Where's the trash? Fine. Wait, which? Oh, oh I'm a man. I guess I'm a woman. <laughs> Uh, okay. They didn't finish cleaning this bathroom. Why does this look like a bathroom that you would see in like a, like a subway? What is, what is this? Oh, what's this? I can, I can throw this. I can drink this. So I just drink this fizz. Should I? Of course I'll drink the bathroom fizz. This is, this is, let's see. How do I? Yeah, I'm gonna drink this fizz. Why not? Why are there, why are there? This is a lot of uh, sinks. Well, got to go. I don't think so, Kazuma. Oh, look at this.
shit. Dude, what are you doing in here? Whoa, well, ma'am, sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry, should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. No, it's fine, you're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry, I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit flustered tonight. Must have slipped my mind. I thought it said huster. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's really rude. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Uh, <laughs> who could be throwing these damn coffee cups? Those bastards. Those sons of bitches. Who would be doing it? Oh, who would, who would do such a thing? Dude, you just walk through the door. Okay. Well, who's over here working? Oh, what do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. I was just chucking if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their minds? I don't know. What keeps you here so late again? Just wrapping up. Okay, well. All right. I'm just wrapping up. Oh, the phone is ringing. I don't like it being red when it rings. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Hey, I've Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been acting oh, up lately. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, no, you even kidding. cut on the client <laughs> earlier. Um, uh, anyway, uh... What are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Damn, Just more overtime. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Hmm. Right. Sounds good. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. What? When you book the rental, make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night Nora and I were talking and she's been on a pretty tight budget things haven't been going very well for her sure I'll find something affordable under a hundred dollars a night it'll be just like the old college days you always had a knack for finding the best spots I should really make the booking now right, right of course sorry for yapping I'm just excited, I guess. Okay. All right. Talk to you later, Harp. Do I need to do anything for work? What, what is this? Company amount approved. Yes, 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 no. Apex invoice. Can I, oh, I can search the internet? Uh... Oh, what? Okay. It made me do that. Oh, I'm doing this. <laughs> Woodbury. Search. Okay. You're 50 at night. Oh, no, no. I got to find something cheap. Private cabin in Woodbury 99. That's the only one. That is the only one. That's the only one. It's not very convenient. Uh, private cabin, three guests, two bedroom, two beds. It works out. 
it works out for us, but I don't know if I want to do this. I guess I'll do it. Booking has been confirmed. Great. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, clients, meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent, a, we rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. Afternoon, quick chili today, eh? Yeah. Uh, I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. Sydney, it's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. How do you know that? I've just, I've just seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. Huh, okay. What do you do for work? Uh, me, I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work at a consulting firm downtown. I don't I don't want to give too much information. Anyways, uh, I don't want to give I don't want to give too much information. Social engineering, guys. Think about it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. You need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. With your giant PSP. Uh escape to hang up. Forgot my suitcase in the elevator at first. How do I open this up? There we go. Pulling into the parking garage now, you down? Oh. Heart. Hug, uh, sure. Dude, you look weird. Busted up, chilled chaos. <laughs> uh, that's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just a text hug to see if you smelled first. Chuckle, fair enough, but the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. Uh, chuckle and long hug. Oh, yes. You look good. So do you, Mike. Thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. This old truck brings back so many memories. Uh, right? This bad boy has been through a lot. You can trust, you can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Sure. Is it, wait, oh, why did it? Oh, dang it. There we go. All right then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyways. All right then, Harp. Okay, well, I don't trust you, my dude. Not, not a bit. Where is the other person? This is not, it's not what I was expecting. Looks like the truck from Tremors. It kind of does. It does look like the truck from Tremors. I haven't seen it move in a while. I don't like not being in control of the vehicle. Hey, look at the little cowboy doodad. Howdy, sir. Oh, I can touch it. This was actually a gift from my coworker, Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. I don't know how. I can see a little bit of the resemblance. Sure, cowboy. It's a cowboy spirit, I guess. Sure. Can I change the radio or? I don't know. Maybe I should get out of this car. What's he, what's he gonna say? Harp, isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are? Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live? 
That's just that's just life, man. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. Uh, funny how that works. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of job, how's it going so far? How's your new job going? Speaking of jobs, we're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're sharing, sharpening, sh shaping the future. Rick Wilson, not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do? We consult. That sounds like important work. Sure. What is this? Did you see that? Did you see the school bus? There's a school bus, a school bus back there by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that. Don't need internet. They actually do do that. They actually do it. It's pretty interesting to watch. Okay, well, I don't trust it. I don't know why she said you see that school bus. I mean, school buses are kind of typical things to see, but there's a deer in the road. Okay. That was close. It came out of, it did not come out of nowhere. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. We just talked about the universe. Um, <laughs> we just talked. We just we just had conversations about that. All right, what now? What's that? Is that a sign? What's it saying? I don't know. I couldn't see it. You're going too fast. How far is it now? Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. I guess so. I didn't even really, I didn't even really realize it was snowing, to be honest. It's kind of beautiful. Okay. Should I go to sleep? Probably not. I don't trust this guy. I don't trust this feller. I never played one of these games, so I don't know how to take it. I don't know if it's like people, people like that I shouldn't be trusting or what? It's 5 14 PM. It's 5 14 PM. It did not look like it was 5 14. This definitely looks like it's like eight or nine dairy Mart. Yo Harp, check that out. Check what out? Moe's pizza. Why would you tell me to check it out and then you're just gonna turn in here? Okay. We're gonna get some pizza. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I mean, if y'all are talking about tiny homes, I don't know, because people don't people didn't start doing that until like now. GPSs have been crazy for the past like 15 years. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Okay, great. Can you hurry up, dude? Ooh, I can get a fizz. Um, an energy bull. Let's get an energy bull. Oh, give me an energy bull. What are we waiting for? My fucking drink. No, give me, give me back over here. Wait, no, did it? Wait. I can't, I can't leave this menu. I want my energy bull. He talked to me when it, when it was coming. Oh, here it is. Well, somebody else has one. Dude, it's your fault that I bought two energy bulls, you bastard. Thank you. Damn it. Let's check in with our field reporter. How That's queso. Oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay. Like, the studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. 
I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. Oh my god. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report oh. somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. <laughs> rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. Uh, excuse me. You can also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. I think it would be better field to work for. You only got your job because your sister worked hey. at the mixing floor. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work the ENG sometime. How dare you? I'm a How certified dare music. you? <laughs> certified? Yeah, my ass, okay? You didn't do shit. How dare I you? Studio, and we settle this like men. Oh, yeah? Well, let's do it, punk. We'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> Are you exhausted and desperately need a break? Yeah. Is your nine to five stressing you out? Oh, yeah. Take a vacation with rentacabin.com. Oh, God. We offer thousands of cabins readily available and accessible with the click of a button. Enjoy amazing. Well, I tried. That dude is very weirdly short. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss, um, <laughs> I think I'll go with Moe's Special and pepperoni and another Moe's Special. <laughs> oh my God. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us just the pizza today. Thanks. All right, then six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty two fifty. I'm paying because I don't want to, I don't want to feel like this dude is. Yeah, your order number is twenty seven. Just grab a seat and then and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Thank you. We'll sit over here then. Boo owned. Mo giving you funny looks. Ugh. S sir can you eat quieter my god damn long sniff it smells so good in here Ugh. uh guess we're just waiting on our pizza now how do i check my phone Escape to read messages. Oh, uh, let's see. I got messages. Uh, Nora. Wait, what? Did, oh my God! I have to read all this. Oh my God! Am I reading all this? Oh my God! Did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Baxter got her pregnant, and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now. A birth announcement that says the force is strong with this one. M Mickey, Mikey, L O L L O L. Did they tie the knot? Tell, tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an inv invitation. Mike, you're the biggest nerd. I know other than Baxter, he would, he would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, I'm so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Taylor telling me how they met at a Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married. And I'm here busting my ass and revising designs for a company. I, I don't even care about blah. Seriously, I feel you girl may as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here We're practically zombies at this point exactly Michael Pikachu face and I miss the city my social life is officially dead Syracuse just doesn't hit the same can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other ladies I have a proposal not the same kind of backstory for Taylor proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental? Oh, this is they talking about the rental house and stuff Oh my God, these, these noises. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Uh, think about it, Harvey. A week in a way to talk about going on here. Yada yada yada. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. All right, I'm in, but there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies. Not the kind to wake and bake Mikey has in mind, but it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking the lead on booking the house? You've always had a knack for finding a great place to stay. Yada, yada, yada. What does this say? Here's the thing, guys. I want to take my dinner. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. I have to take it. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. I kind of got her voice down, not going to lie. Nora, that's no problem. Yada, yada, yada. We do all this. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I've got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Oh, I'm so sorry you guys Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure harp stays up to let you in Okay Um, okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe oh, Okay These these oh Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Order number 27. You folks are right here. All right. I don't know what he's talking about. This is trash. Oh, he got his pizza. All right, folks, all set. Thank you. Yeah, we, I was already sitting down at the table. We don't have anything. How, how are they eating with no with no uh, drinks? That's one thing I need to ask. I don't know what Mo's special is. Oh, damn, this pizza slaps. <laughs> okay. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. Who wrote this? <laughs> Who wrote this? It sounds like a like a zoomer. I know, right? <laughs> this pizza slaps. <laughs> this bomb ass pizza. <laughs> Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. Yo, Atomic, thanks for the primer. Appreciate it, dude. Fair enough, but eat some, but eat someone else's tires. We've still got a bit of driving to do. Yeah, let me, let me finish my pizza, dude. Mind your business. Why did you give me a whole, they could have gave us one box for this pizza, by the way. I just want to say that there was they. Oh, sh hey there, my friends. I don't know you. I saw y'all pull in the driveway. That's a nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. Y'all mind if I hit your ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So here's the problem, buddy. This is a two seat truck, I think. Isn't it a two seater? Pretty sure it's a two seater. I ain't finna be riding bitch. Uh, and um, and I don't think you want to either. This is not, no, <laughs> no. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? No. No, you kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want me walking down the road in the freezing weather? Look, I said no. You ain't too kind, are you? Uh, yeah. That's a two-seater truck. Like, dude, I'm not doing that. There's somebody else out there in the car. Well, that was weird. 
He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. I don't feel bad for him. Make sure he keeps on walking. There's a gas station over there. There's a dude driving right there in a taxi. Like, is a dude with an actual, like, broom in his car? He's not going to sit in the bed. It's cold out there. Like, real talk, do you guys eat the crust on your pizza? I eat the crust. But I like to dip it in something, like ranch. Yeah, I eat the crust. It depends. If, it, if it's like burnt, I ain't going to do it, though. Um... Uh, there we go. Yep, yeah, just burp. Uh, there we go. Excuse me. My pizza's gone, man. Uh, drive slow or okay. She sends us a text message. How do I use it? Oh, can I get the? Holy, that was good. Yeah. There's a weird man behind you, dude. All right then. Are you ready to hit the road? Uh. The road, maybe we can beat the worst on bank snow. Oh, uh, give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? This is going to drive so you can get a break. Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedroom when, when or if we get there. Whatever, dude. Take the keys. That's 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 weird. Can I not? Can I not? Thank you. Thanks for your service. How's your day going? Where are you headed? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in, in peace. Thanks for understanding. Hope you enjoy your meal. I just wanted to talk to him. What's up, dude? Oh, okay. The person who was eating like that. How's your day going? How's the pizza? The pizza's great, actually. I think I think Moe's might have ruined other pizzas for us. It's our first time in the area. Oh no, we're on our way to a conference in the next town over. Not too much farther to go. We just stopped to eat whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you, local, just passing through? We're headed to a rental. Uh, we're just passing through. Interesting. Mm, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and be careful in the snow. Enjoy the pizza. Here's my thing. You should never give people that much information. This door been open this whole time? People getting cold, people getting cold. See, how was he gonna sit in there? He ain't sitting. Is this my bag? I hope he didn't take my bag. I hope he didn't take my bag. I think that's my bag. <sighs> Buy a gun from where the pizza guy? Come on, dude. Come on. You're tripping now. All right. It's five o'clock, 49 p.m. Does that work? I don't think that works. Oh, shoot. I have to drive. Oh, shoot. Got to make sure I'm staying. I didn't realize I was going to actually have to drive. The hell you... Sir, stop, stop staring at me. Weirdo. You like the wobble bobble head? Oh my god. You get up. Wait. I don't know if that's copyright or not. <laughs> so I was going to turn that off. I'm not sure. We never played Gran Turismo. Never have. Uh, what does this say? Oh, Woodbury's this way. Okay, 
this works out. Whew. I'm just not good at driving on keyboard. That's not the cabin. I remember what the cabin looks like. It ain't like that. That's not the cabin. <laughs> Is that it? No, that ain't it. We really ain't gone that far. He talking about some. Is that it? No, that's not it either. Where's this cabin? These these places got too many neighbors. There's no way that these are the cabin. Any of these are in the cabin. We're too close to society. That a police officer. Sorry, officer. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure which way to go. Shackled by lust. Jesus is here. It's, there's at, Jesus sets free. I, I see those signs a lot. They always make me laugh. But here's Woodbury. Is this it? Is this it? I think we're almost there. Do you remember the address? I think the address was 241 Woodbury Boulevard. I think that's it. There it is. Here we are. My legs fell asleep one second. It's a very cold night. Let me get my stuff. He ain't gonna get it for me, so. Why is the light already on? The door was locked, had to get the key from the lockbox. Hold left mice to slide and get the key. Uh, five, one, seven, six. One, seven, six. Okay. Great. Uh, Dude, hold on. Did, my, did I just throw my bag down? There, dude. Go. I didn't think that I didn't think that I would be blocking the road. You never heard of going to fuck around, dude? Damn. Can I? I think they, they thought about everything in this game. This is. Are you just gonna sit out here? Okay. Oh, I got the key. Get in here. Oh, you gonna lock the door? Okay. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right, but I really need to hit the John. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Where'd I put my bag at? Sure. Oh my goodness. I gotta go one at a time. Did they just turn into orange juice? Teddy bear, you're weird. Teddy bear, you are weird. Best milk. <laughs> it almost looks like breast milk. Breast milk. Just buy breast milk from the store. Peak Park's bell peppers. What are we cooking? What are we cooking? What are we making? This is the most unoptimal. Way. As a guy, I hate the way I'm putting these groceries up. Oh, you know, I have to grab. I have to make as many. I have to take as less trips as I possibly can. The least amount of trips. This is not good. Froyo delights, fro frozen yogurt. Okay, I don't know what he's making with this uh, with these ingredients. Eggs, maybe some kind of frittata. I don't know. I don't know. Is that it? Nope. We got one more one more jug of breast milk. No, no, you idiot. No, no, you idiot. Thank you. This is the bathroom. Woo! Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. But all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Let me shut this door. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm. 
you just don't see anywhere. Yeah, it's cute for sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. Thanks. Did he just like shit up the bathroom? The smell of long tone pizza had really done a number on Mike. That's terrible. Ain't no cameras in here, right? Just trying to make sure. <clears throat> gotta be, gotta be careful. Okay. Oh, I can, I can text Rick. Hi, we checked in. Great. Did I flush the toilet? Can I wash my hands? There we go. Gotta wash my hands. Gotta be clean, huh? What's in here? Nothing. Oh, well, I can see if it's good to know. Did he light a fire? Oh, he did light a fire. Mike, you just walked through the door. You scared me. You feeling better after the drive? Much better now. I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. I don't know what you were just doing. Are you following me? Oh, you are. Okay. Uh, this seems to be uh, the living quarters. What is this? Oh, there's like, there's Ouija. We can play Ouija. Uh, there's chess. Can I, the living room is bigger than my apartment. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this. Uh, whispers in the dark. All right, let's just go. I ain't got time to be looking at more board games. The fireplace looks looks very warm though. That's nice. There is a back. There's an outside. There's, as, as there is to every house, <laughs> there is an outside. <laughs> <laughs> there is an outside to every house. What's in this here cabin? I mean, it's not cabin. What is this? Let's get close. Was this bait and fish? This guy really must like fishing. It can be fun. Uh, bait and fish parking knowledge, frozen prawns and stuff. Cheese delight, chunks of cash. Okay, all right, I got you. All right, let's go. Can you get out of the way, sir? Can you move, sir? Follow me. Get the fuck out of the way, sir. Oh, he's stuck in there now. Oh, never mind. I don't like that all the lights were on already. He's good at shutting doors after me. That's one thing. All right, what's out here? What's up? What's upstairs? Um, okay. I can use all can I can hold F to use this. It's getting really cold. Okay. Oh, <laughs> You son of a bitch. Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. See, Daisy, I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. We're just friends. Oopsie Daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remember the TV has been on the Fritz here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without a TV. Apparently we probably, damn motherfucker, you all up. Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. I'd be, it'd be, I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you a grand tour. Sir, it's a home, it's a house. We've already looked at everything. How was the middle-aged man with a nervous host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy? Here's your shower. That thing will make a, make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this sink doesn't work. Unfortunately, not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. I'm not going to be here that long. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Oh, okay. Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. <laughs> it's 
This room has a nice ass. <laughs> you think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Show me your deck. What What are you running, Arisham? Little, little, little Sarah control. Follow me now, please. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'll follow you right behind you, sir. He kind of looks like uh, the dad from King of the Hill. This is a weird room. Oh, wow. Look, a deck. Holy smokes. This is incredible. Uh, it's incredibly cold. Yeah. I don't think it's that great. Glad your folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view on the deck on the creek. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. All right. This is a great spot for fishing. Okay. You didn't have to show it. We, we've already kind of been. Here's a storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. We might not need it. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. Uh, there's no flashlight here, man. It's right here. I'm gonna throw it right there because I don't know where it's at. Can I open up the window? Nope. We've already, why are you giving us a tour of this house? This is not normal. All righty, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob, turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. That makes sense. Tend to keep it low in the winter, the bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Why? Is it, is it not gonna be heating up? Is this, is this what's in here? Oh, I didn't realize it was a basement. I don't know about this. Sir, I did not know there was a basement here. Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the bottom up. Just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in minutes in business where's it oh this hit the button at the bottom are you coming miss i'm looking at the stuff you showed me making sure i'm i'm, I'm look i'm black you I, I don't know my couldn't open the door what's in here what's in there hey sir what's the deal with that room over there nothing you two need to concern yourselves with sir that's that's concerning I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Man, I, I'm, I'm breaking into this door. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something su shuffling around down here. Not to scare your folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Why are you always on my ass, dude? Can you back up? <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just joking. He's trying to keep us from down here. What you got down here? At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around six to 10. Alrighty, folks. Snow starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around, sir. I don't believe you. Second. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ha, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl, sir. I don't trust you. Two bits. Not even. Not even three. I don't. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there is anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Yeah, that was really weird. He's really weird. I ain't want to talk. Let me tell you something, Cosm. Okay. Yo, we cut the lights off, man. We, we, well, you know what? We, we, he's, we, we're renters. We can keep all the lights on. Um, 
TV still broke, so I don't know what it was doing, but but okay. You couldn't clean up for you before we got here. Shower door was open. It's not a camera in here or nothing, is there? I don't trust it. Didn't need to use a shower. Oh. I ain't taking my clothes off. <laughs> well, let me grab this towel. My bag's downstairs. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go down. I guess I'm. I guess I'm dressed. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa! Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned it, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know. It's cold out there. Come on, Harp. What would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? I guess it could be fun. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. I just took a shower, dude. I just took a shower. I mean, why are you leaving this goddamn door open, my dude? G shut the door, it's cold, you jack wagon. The hell? I was thinking the same thing. Does he even know how to clean and cook a fish? Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a sec. Can you back the fuck up? Where's the fishing rod? If you want to come in here, I could have found. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh snap! I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this fish information bar. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's... Yeah, okay. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Please don't make rounds in my name. Uh, we need carp. What, what, what does carp want? Cheese delight. Where do we get uh, cheese delight? Is that this? Cheese. Let's go. Oh, okay, I was say, how do you get out of here? Um, G to throw, B to blow. Um, oh wait, right mouth button to put on the hook. Hope those carp are biting today. Sure, dude, shut up. You're gonna scare the fish away. No. Where's the How do I how do I fish? Oh, okay. I don't know. Got it. That throwback. I don't have any bait. Come on, fishies. Come on, fishies. Come on. I want some carp. Damn it. Oh man. All right. I think I get it now. I think I get it.
Got it. Give me my cart. Oh my god. Throwback. <sighs> Hold my damn carp, y'all. I'm waiting for it. I can hear it. G give me, come here, fish. Come here, fishy. Come here, fishy. Come here, come here, come here. There we go. Give my carp. There we go. We're going to keep that. They say whenever there is one carp, there's always more. Okay, shut up so I can get some more. Through the jack wagon. Oh, who's that? That's not that dude that we um we told we weren't gonna like give him a ride, is it? I can only imagine that it is. Gonna keep that. Just one more carb left. You got this, dude. It'd be great if you could fucking help me. What am I gonna get a rare carp? I don't know. I like to get a magic carp. Oh, well, there we go. All right, Harp, looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. I don't know. I don't think that's how it works. Are you gonna clean them? Like what's okay. Anyways. Yeah, I, we should. We, we probably should have drove the truck into the back or something. I don't like the way this music is changing. Can I? We'll put that down there like that. Where'd he go? Come on, Mike. Because I don't trust this place now. Was that a ghost orb? Okay, well, apparently we're putting these in the... While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. On it. What did he say? Olive oil. Wait, I need, I need a bowl. Did he say milk? <laughs> Dang it, I know he said, dang it, put that down. I don't think he said milk. Where the season is at? Where's the, the yogurts in here? We're gonna use frozen yogurt? What bowl am I using? Oh, salt, black pepper, salt, black pepper, paprika. Where's it? Where's it? Salt, black pepper, olive oil, Italian seasoning, ginger, pap, pappy, pappy, paprika, and yogurt. Now, can I put this back in here? Good enough. Try it. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies on it, dude, on it, dude. I got you. Even though why is the head still on the fish? I'm just, I'm just wondering. And why do we get three fish? If you're only going to cook two? what, no, what veggies? Now, could you add the vegetables? Yeah, if you give me a fucking second. I read it needs to go to f f for 30 minutes for 400 degrees. <sighs> sure. Those carp are going to taste amazing. I don't know, man. I kind of don't like the way you season them, but you will see. <laughs> I 
while we wait for it to cook how about we play some board games i saw some in the room next to the living room i guess we could just grab whatever catches your eye can't wait to see what you pick i saw some in the room next to the living room okay let, let me go see wow um we should probably play i mean te te technically i would never do this but let's just play ouija we got ouija why not Oh snap, is that a Ouija board? Holy, Holly once t told me how to how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we try this down there? That's a gr that's a bad idea, but in this case I'm saying it's a great idea. All right, let's go. It sounds like a terrible idea to me, but let's do it. Are you scared already, dude? I'm going to the table. That's down here. Where we're gonna do it at? Come on. Watch out for spiders down here. Yeah, I would not be down here. Trust me. Oh, you're gonna take the. T okay, I, I knew we were gonna use the table, but I didn't know where you do it at. Okay. The fish head is very nutritious. I don't know about you, Cosmo, but I don't want no hair from no fish, so. You know what will make this even spookier? A killer? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. Mm. Mm. Can I can I put this down here? There. That's that feels better. Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? No. So here's how it works. <laughs> First, we place our fingers lightly on the, the planchette. Okay. Is it planchetti? We have to ask questions and the spheres, if there are any, will move the planchette to spell out the answers. Or at least that's what Holly told me. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the planchette until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits, she said. Got it. All right, then you go first. Okay, I really wanted to. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? What is this spelling? Yes, okay. No way, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. What's it? Um, what? Did you live in this house? Uh oh. My turn? It didn't say anything. Okay, go. What are you gonna say? Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Come on, buddy. Uh, I wish I could see what it was writing, if it's writing anything. Holy crap, what the hell, my wait? I'm not usually wanting for ghosts and spirits. There's something down in there. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. Sure. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> would you have been nice if you had checked? What in the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Would have been nice. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Dude, I, I swear. I caught the fish. I put up the groceries. Damn, dude. This dude. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. 
I don't know, man. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Why is always up in your Kool-Aid? I don't know, dude. Oh, uh, I, did I not? Did I not get a plate? You son of a bitch! You couldn't get me. You couldn't make me a plate. Son of a bitch. Yo, where is the yogurt? For the marinade, I guess I just can't see it. Did I, do I even have a utensil? Wait, what am I? What am I doing? Wow. What am I? What am I doing? Do I have a? Do I have a purpose? What is my purpose? You want to turn on the TV, Hart? Where's Where's the t damn remote? Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. Ugh. We stir fry this in a what, what? with Irish tofu. I'm not going to lie. This is going to taste like shit. <laughs> but here you are anyway, listening to the cooking instructions. This is the Oh my god. <laughs> we we got to inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. Oh my god. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Gasoline-soaked ramen. Now this what dish the hell? is extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline and ramen. And ramen. Ah. This dish really soothes the soul, almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this pot. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use 2% or half and half. Do not use diesel. <laughs> so after <laughs> the gasoline, <laughs> do not oil, use we diesel. Put in our ramen. I'm using some stuff I found in my grandmama's basement. But you can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic. Once the gasoline fully soaks into the noodles. Oh my god. Actually kind of scientific. Bill Nye who the gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules and they taste very good. That was some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. The shows are it was really good. Catches on fire. I thought to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new I, my new DS. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! No, I made you food. No, no, no. It's not. It's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Damn. I don't think she ate it. No, <laughs> oh, Grandma. I made you some food. That's crazy. No, Grandma. I made you some food. Some gasoline soaked ramen. That is wild. This is like the most ineffective way to wash dishes, by the way. I just rinsed off one plate. What are we going to do with this other fish? I guess nothing. Well, I'm done with the dishes, right? Oh, I, oh, I got to do this. What is this? Uh, 
pulling in the parking garage now you downstairs yet i think there's someone under my bed right now can you come upstairs uh what the fuck why would i why would i come upstairs with someone under your bed which room did you choose walk slow You son of a bitch. My God, looks are half my charm. Harper, don't mess with them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool, dude. Come on, it was just a joke, dude. You wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Um, I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. Oh man. All right, you're on. I'll count to 10. Why are we playing hide and seek? Oh. Uh, I decided to hide in the basement. I was definitely going to go to the basement. There's like nowhere else to hide. Why am I hiding? Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to find the nook on the stairs you keep. Shut the shut is the door shut? Should have walked out. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Sure. One. Oh. One. Two. Oh. Hey, it's where I'm from. I don't like closing my eyes. Ready or not, here I come. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't like being in this basement, man. Okay, he's not, he's not here. Is he maybe behind his couch? Are you exhausted? And Shut up. That scared me. Are you exhausted? We can't, he can't go outside, right? Like I'm just saying he can't. Found you. <laughs> that wasn't hard. Hang on Harper. I think I heard something upstairs. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. You're going to try this again. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't, you didn't hear it. No, I did not. I swear on my life. I heard something. I see this attic access door in there, in here. What? Damn. Couldn't reach it without the step stool. Where's the, where's the step stool at? There's a step stool. Where's the step stool at? Oh. I swear if you close this door one more fucking time, I will beat your fucking ass. Uh. 
Oh. Just a cat. What's up, man? That scared me. I did. I did not know. Like what the hell was up? I, I was not. I was not prepared for that. Anything out here? Okay. Well, why did I have to go up here? How come he couldn't go? It was just a cat. Well, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. You ready to count again? She was hungry. Oh yeah. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Uh, is he going to tell me where to try to hide in a tool shed in the backyard? Okay, sure. I still don't trust this. I'm not hiding out of no cold ass tool shed in the backyard. Who the hell? Would y'all hide it? Would y'all hide here? Any anything to win, huh? <laughs> He's probably gonna come out here and find me. The dude with the backpack is gonna show up. That's what I'm thinking too. Okay, I don't want to open it up. I think he's going. Yeah, I think he's going to find us. No. No. Oh, well, yeah, of course I'm here. Them harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn, close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. <sighs> I kind of just want to like not have to find you. Oh, shit. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Mississippi, nine, whatever. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. Make sure there's no, no crazy backpacker out here. <laughs> there is a like real talk. There's a ladder right here. You could use this to get onto the, to get into the house. The realest of talks. Uh, I don't think he's in the basement. He's not in the bathroom. What's that noise? I thought that was him. Is he up here? He's not up top, is he? Nope, he's not up here. Okay. Um, why, why is there a sound thing here? I don't like that. Probably might be on a deck. Only place left for him to be is up here. Oh shit, what are you doing up here? What's going on? What happened? Why the hell are you in here again? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Yes, you do. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? 
Didn't think so. I'd imagine you don't know what tools you'll need. How long have you been here? I just got here a couple minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady. Remember? <laughs> Look, we need to go to bed now. Do you think maybe you can fix it tomorrow, dude? Like, you asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If your folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, get your ass out of here. You fucking weirdo. We're going to see you out, Mike. I mean, uh, Rick, not you, Mike. It's good riddance, damn it. This dude is weird. Okay. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed it. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness, <laughs> like everybody in the world. Uh, look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves. Mike said, but this time, but by this time I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 1139 PM. Why am I, what am I? Mike, okay, Harp, are you still awake? Harsley when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure, I guess. What you wanna talk about? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to catch to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. Uh, it's it's a strange day. Yeah, I don't like where you turned your head. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. Yeah, I wish you would just cut it out. I thought you may be scared in in here by yourself. I mean, I am a little freaked out. Oh, damn. Dude, why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Uh, I don't really want to. Why don't you? I don't want to. I don't I don't really want to. Can I just leave leaving me already, Sydney? I don't want to sit next to you, though, Mike. Ugh, what can I do? Can I leave? <laughs> I don't like this. Y yes, I have no option, huh? Harp, you know, I've missed this us just talking. It's been too long. You know, you don't you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? the fuck you act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon I remember it being pretty awkward it didn't start out awkward though Mike we had a lot to drink things happened they sure did I'm hoping maybe they even happen again oh Mike I don't know what to say I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that 
You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Drive slow. Is that Lily Pichu? Oh, who, who is that? We snowed in too, girl. I can't message her that. <laughs> Sounds like it. it does sound like it, doesn't it? He just disappeared, by the way. What timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really serious tonight. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure you're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. No, I kind of don't want to stay here by myself. I kind of don't. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Uh, dude, I wish you would stop talking like that. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm if you really feel like we have to. Um, okay. I guess I'm going to sleep. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. It ain't locked. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Don't worry. I've driven in worse. Gotcha. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. I'll hug you, Mike. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Just simply... Wait, how do I lock the door? How do I lock it? Damn, damn, Mike, slow down. All right, well, guess we're going back to bed. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrive. Can I not lock this door either? Okie dokie. I guess I can. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. It's late. Sorry guys, I got some, uh, some nerd clusters. Excuse me? We have a doorbell? Okay. Someone was at the front door. Okay, hold on. I'm not answering that door. Uh oh. I see who it is. Just that backpack motherfucker. Uh uh. No. Go away. No. We ain't home. We're not home. Go away. We're not home. Fine. Hello, do you have any other time? What time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night. But I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. I'm still on the porch. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get you to get me. They're not coming in in the story. 
Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here. I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as, as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend flashing in the creek, fishing the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. How do I call uh, messages? Uh, message Nora, Kim, Michael, message Max. Uh, but let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Where's he going? The door seemed irrelevant compared to how. What's he doing? Bruh. Bruh. What am I supposed to be doing? Can you keep my eyes open? I had to get some sleep. Dude, no, this there's a weird dude outside. No. What was that noise? Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back? There's someone we met driving down here that's banging on the door, sort of threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? I'll take my ass and go up here. <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna is he gonna respond back? Oh shit, he's down in the basement. Is this, is this Rick? Oh, thank God, Rick. Spot our stranger rules. He's seeing him as a relief. Yeah. Oh shit, Rick. Help. Oh, thank God you're here. I'm so glad you came. Where the hell's going on here? Same situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Hmm? Why not? Why well, you got the hammer, Rick? By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? Mike, he went to pick up the other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, my friends be back soon. Yep. Yeah. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. All kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay. Come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're they are almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by though. 
Uh, okay. Um, I'll be fine now. You can head back if you want. You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything is really nice. You need to leave right now. You are not Rick. Who are you? Who are you? You need to leave right now. What did you just say? Confront. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine, this house and you. You're trespassing. You need to leave right now. Get out. Get out of here before I call the cops. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What? Shit. I tried to run away. What? What? I couldn't. Did I die? I guess that's it. Oh, wait, Rick, can I get away? I think that I don't know if that's it or not. Let's see. Um, Might have seen it could have been anyone. Uh, yeah, the same situation. Yep. All right. I think I think I can run or try to get away. I don't know. Should be back soon. Yeah, my friends will be back soon. What are you looking for, dude? Oh, I can't go up there. Can I go down here? It was freezing outside. <laughs> I'm stuck here. Oh my God. Maybe I can, I just feel safe over the door. I'm stuck. There's nothing I can do down here either. I don't think I can get away. 
I think that's it. Um, I don't think there are multiple endings or anything. You can. Also, I'm just losing right now. It's the story of survivors. I don't think you. I'm supposed to be able to escape. I'm pretty positive. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna get a text message now. Burlington, the coat factory. What? See if I can lure him by the stairs. Come closer. See, I'll come no more closer than this. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way I can get out. There's no way. I don't think there's a way to get. He's too fast. There's no way. I don't think there's a way to get out. Are there multiple endings to fears to fathom Woodbury getaway? What's up, Black Bolt? It has multiple endings allowing for different outcomes depending on the choices you make during the story. The distinction of being whether you manage to escape area alive or not. Some variations also include details about the character relationship knowledge. To show more. Decision is whether to trust certain characters and follow their advice, which can lead to either escape or dangerous situation. Well, uh, you said there are, but what am I supposed to do? I guess I need to go back. And maybe at midnight, some, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Can I go back? Someone's at the door. Maybe we do someone's at the door and then we see. I can't run upstairs in the closet, you jack wagon. He's too fast. Okay, go hide under the stairs in the basement. It's too fast. How do I? Is there a way to like, how do I, is there no way to like stop? I can't, I can't get out. Maybe if I tell him that I like him. Mike, where's this coming from? I can try to hide under the stairs in the basement, but that's about it.
I got to do the whole damn thing. Piece of shit. Great. Didn't know I could do that. <laughs> He's really trying to get laid. I love doing nice things for you. I'm not locking the front door. It's not really locking. I didn't give you no fucking hug. Considering the fact that I'm gonna let this dude in the backpack in. I'm letting him in. Yep, 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 yep. He's coming in here. I trust him more than anybody right now. Can't trust Mike. Can I not? I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. <sighs> Look, my friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the door. Can I not let him in? You can sit on the porch while you wait. You're not coming in in the story. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Not coming in the story. You fucking kidding me? You didn't make me go hiking in a snowstorm. What? I think I didn't see you and your friend. I'm gonna go outside. Okay, maybe I can't. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you, you hear? I don't know what I need to do, sir. Sir, I'm I'm I can't let him in. Don't feel safe opening the door. I don't know what to do. Why would you go back to sleep? She's, she's crazy. Could not go back to sleep. Okay. Wait, somebody throw a snowball at my door. Um, escape. I don't want to text Rick though. I don't want to text Rick. No, no, don't text me, Rick. I don't know if I can do anything. The back door is, um, I can't, it, it's open, but I can't, she's freezing cold. 
I don't know how to get the other ending. Nah, man, I don't want, I don't want Rick. Is there something else I can do? I'm in a red state. How do you know I'm in a red state? I don't think there's a gun anywhere. Open the door, go through that business and hide in the basement real quick. What? Let's see if this will work. You'll be back soon. I'm gonna see if I can. I, I clicked the wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. Should use Kang. Oh, never mind. All music tracks in the video game are copyright free. I didn't have to worry about that earlier. If I'd have just paid attention. I restarted the game because I wasn't finna go through. I was not about to go through someone's the door. <laughs> but I see now. But yeah, I did it too early. It just suck I have to go through all this again though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. 
Come on over here. My hands smell like bleach for some reason. Okay, so wait a minute. Apparently I need to wait a very long time. Apparently a very long time. Um. But why would, I guess. I guess so. This is this is too much. Yeah, 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 Rick, come on. I'm listening to you. I've done everything you've told me to do, damn it. You've never failed me. You surely have. Mm-hmm. Oh.
y'all, this is crazy. We, where they at? They just need to come inside, man. Uh, uh, uh. What they doing? I can't. I can't let them in. Y'all need to. Y'all. Hey. Is there a weapon in here or? Gotta be something. supposed to do. Finally, you finally kicked the door. Why are you looking up at me like that? Am I that tall? <laughs> what? That was ridiculous. I told him everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. I don't know, man. Mike, like I'm tall. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it was being used, when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seem to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Well, I mean, we didn't really spend a lot of money, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a full refund. Here's your here's your hundred dollars back. Okay. See, I thought it was Lee Pichu in this case. So, oh Dante. Okay. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize it. I didn't realize that was Dante. That's cool though. There's one more ending. That was that was an interesting game. I want to play the other ones too. That was really good. It was a really good game. I seem to have planned it. I didn't know that I could escape. I thought it was it. I need bed. I'm gonna go eat something to eat, then I'm gonna bed.
You're welcome. That was really good though. Like I did not think that I would be able to escape after like he was so fast, man. I thought I was just done, but I see, I see now. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great Spooktober.